Cypher's Pick number 28. I'm Cypher Reese. This is part two of our interview with Aria Wallace. If you didn't catch part one, go back and watch. Aria is so talented, so nice, an amazing actor, and an amazing singer. I even sing to her music in the car, because that's the way this Piper rolls, baby. We'll put more clips of the interview right on our website. That's www.piperspix.tv. No, not .com. .tv. It gets totally random. In this episode, we're going to get more info on Roxy and Mandy and even Aria, which is always good since that's who we're talking to. Okay, without further delay, roll the intro. <laughs> Like. Oh my goodness, they're the coolest people ever. I love Jeanette and Nathan and Miranda. They're all just so awesome. When we stay in touch, it's just too cool. Did you know I met Jeanette? I know, I watched your episode. That was so great. Your interview was really awesome. Thank you. <laughs> What's the deal with Manda and Freddie? Is there anything we should know? I think Mandy has a very, very big crush on Freddie, but I don't think Freddie likes her back. She's a little too crazy for him. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We've heard a rumor that we haven't seen the last of Mandy. Can you tell us a little bit about that? That is very true. Mandy is coming out with a new episode in 2009. It's really crazy and even more psycho than before. <laughs> Can you give us a little hint on it? Well, I will tell you that the iCarly URL that is the website gets stolen and Mandy buys it back and won't give it back to Carly, Sam, and Freddie. So they have to try and figure out a way to get the URL website back from, like, from Mandy. Oh, so they have to like let her sleep in the house or something? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I can't tell you everything or else it'll ruin the surprise. Evel and Gibby are also back, which is really cool. They're such great people. It's really awesome to meet them. Is Neville nice in person? He's just the opposite of his character. He is so incredible and really a fantastic person to be with. Who's more hip-hop, Gibby or Sam? I have to say Gibby because I think Gibby dances a lot more than Sam does. <laughs> That's true. Are you more like Roxy or Mandy? I hope I'm not like Mandy. <laughs> I hope double, people don't think I'm psycho. I can be crazy sometimes, though. It's fun to be crazy sometimes, but I'm definitely like Roxy in every way. <laughs> so Dan Snyder's created a bunch of other shows besides that Carly. Have you met him? I have. He is the coolest guy ever, and he's so fun to be around. He just, the thing I like about him is when we're on set and we're doing a scene, he'll just he'll add stuff spontaneously, just improv and add crazy stuff that just ends up being so funny. He's just so cool and really, really funny, and he was an actor himself a long time ago. He was Dennis on Head of the Class, and it was so awesome. He's just such a great guy, and it's really awesome to be around him. Thank you for saving me a question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, besides that, Carly, what are your favorite shows? I like all the old family shows. Like, I love I Love Lucy and Growing Pains and Leave It to Beaver, Andy Griffith Show, all of those old family shows that are so awesome. I love okay. Lucy, though. She's my favorite. We want to take a photograph with real Oompa Loompas and you have a Wonka link on ariawallace.com. Did you really get to swim in that chocolate river? I wish I could have swum in a chocolate river. It would have been awesome to drink, wouldn't it? But the Oompa Loompas are so cool and they're so funny in real life and they're really awesome. They're just really great. Do you ever talk about working with your sister? All the time, me and my sister loved working together. It was so cool. We never did an actual show together, but we were in acting together, and we'd go out for the same audition sometimes. Dilly is a really awesome actress. She's into gymnastics more now. She's a level five competitive gymnast, and she's so good. I heard you were really good at an English accent. Could you help me a bit with mine? I would love to help you with yours. Two of my favorite movies when I was about seven or eight were Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and um, Parent Trap. And I would copy the English accents from them, so I'll definitely help you. Do you want to help? Do you want me to do the Hermione accent or the Parent Trap? Uh, Hermione. Okay. Are you Harry Potter? Oh my goodness. Has anyone seen a toad? One in Neville's lost one. You two better get into robes. I expect we'll be arriving soon. Can you do that? Has anyone seen a toad? <laughs> Try toad. 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 I say lost. Lost. Good job. That's awesome. Have you seen the Chronicles of Narnia? No. It's a really good movie. You should watch it sometime. And the first one, Lucy, that's enough. Lucy, that's enough. <laughs> she thinks there's a magical world in a wardrobe. She thinks there's a magical world in the wardrobe. Start saying war. Wardrobe. 
wardrobe. Like, almost as if you're saying wall, like wall. Wardrobe. Good job, that's so awesome. You catch on so quickly. So I heard you have a new CD in music. Can you list a couple songs on it? The CD will be coming out next year and I'd have to say my two favorites are Miracle and Butterflies and Me. They're really, really cool songs. One of them is about a crush and the other one is about empowering a girl who doesn't think she's anything but really she's a miracle. The Roxy Hunter songs, they're coming out in a separate album as well. They're so much fun to sing and my two favorites are Follow Me and Secret. Can we sing Secret together? That's my absolute favorite. Sure. Do you know all the words? I can help you if you want. I know most of them. Okay. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Got a secret I've been trying to tell. Seems to me you don't listen so well. When, when you get angry, I just want to say please. It's not the way it should be, yeah. Come closer, closer let me whisper to you. I got a list of things I think you should do. It's not a secret you should keep to yourself. It's good for everyone else. It's a secret I've been trying to should know. Pass it on wherever you go. Yeah, the secret is love. Love. Yeah, the secret is love. Love. Pass it on. <laughs> good job, Piper. Thank you. <laughs> Who are your favorite singers? I love Christina Aguilera. She has an incredible voice. I love Pink. Oh my goodness, I love how she's so raspy and she just sounds so awesome. Um, those are probably my two favorite. I love Alicia Keys too. She was the first so one of the first songs I ever learned to sing in my life was Fallen by Alicia Keys and I love it so much. Cool. <laughs> so are you ready for the cool or cuter questions? Sure. Those are my favorite. Who's cooler, Miranda Cosgrove or Carly Shay? I like both of them. I think, well, they're the same person. <laughs> Who's cuter, Mason or Freddie? I think he's very cute. <laughs> Who's cooler, Jeanette McCurdy or Sam Puckett? Jeanette McCurdy. I do know her in real life, and we're really good friends, and I think she's so awesome, and she's really cool to hang around. One, two, three. Hi, Jeanette! <laughs> Who's funnier, Spencer Shea or Jerry Trainer? Both of them are extremely funny, but I love the lines that Dan and the writers come up with for Spencer. So that's Spencer. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, I like both of them, though. They're both hysterical, even in real life. You might be watching. <laughs> Which is cooler, pink or purple? Purple for me. I love purple. My room's purple. <laughs> Who's wonkier, Gene Wilder or Johnny Depp? Well, no offense to Johnny Depp and any means. I love him to death, and I think he is very, very gorgeous. But um, I'd have to say Gene Wilder. I like the original the best. <laughs> okay, that's a little different. I like Johnny Depp. <laughs> that's okay. Who's your favorite pirate? Jack Sparrow! Woo! What about the girl in the movie? Kira Knightley? Oh, my goodness. I love her so much. I've watched every movie she's ever been in. Do you know the song from Wizards of Waverly Place that mentions her? Oh, right. Okay, you ready? What's that? A hat, crazy, funky, junky hat. I was up, and a slightly. Try to look like here and nightly. Yeah, we've, we've done that. We've we've done that. Do your funky hat. Sorry. You talk about being positive and believing in yourself. Some of these kids think they don't have a voice because they're just kids. Can you tell them how they can improve and make their dreams come true now? Definitely, Piper, that is an incredible question. You're so right, a lot of kids do believe that they don't have a voice because they're young, which is totally not true. And any possible way you can try to have a voice, I mean, you could say things in, through writing songs, which is the way that I try to do it. I like with the Big Green Help. I think that's an incredible idea, and I think it's wonderful to try and help our Earth. I think we should try to help our Earth be a better place, which is one thing that a, kids can, a lot of kids can do. I mean, you can recycle, you can give old clothes away and swap with other friends. There's so many things you can do that kids don't realize they can do. What size can kids go to to make sure they're finding the real Aria Wallace? I do have a Real Aria Wallace YouTube page, and it's youtube.com slash the Real Aria Wallace. And just so everyone knows, it's really me. And I really do write on there, and I really do write back to the personal messages as much as I can. I have my own website, ariawallace.com, which I do blog on there every week. And I also blog on my fan site, aria.skyfairy.net. And um, I have a MySpace page where people can actually call me, and I will call them back on scene now. And it's myspace.com slash Aria Wallace. Is there anything you would like to say to your fans before you go? I'd love to say thank you for watching, and I'd love to say always believe in yourself and follow your dreams. And remember that anything is possible if you just believe. <laughs> thank you so much, Piper. This has been awesome. It's so great to meet you. Do you want to go into the mall? Sure. I'd love to. <laughs>